Okay, uh, more or less finished, I think. Um, slightly satin shine to it. Uh, it could be slightly matter, I think, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, some oily weathering here and there, and some washing. All the components are there. Some weathering on it. Again, it's nothing spectacular, it's just nice workmanlike aircraft um, weathered to what it would reasonably weather like um, in in service so yeah that's it, I'm still trying to figure out how many hours I spent, maybe maybe 25 something like that, including the uh, modification of the radomes um it was more or less of a quick experiment to just to see how easy it was to do a, a simple blog from start to finish uh, i think i've done maybe this might be the 15th video i think something like that and they're all about 10 12 minutes each something like that apart from one i messed up that ended up being about one minute so uh that's it so 15 blogs each each one taking care of maybe an hour there's an hour and a half's work for each one and i just talk about about 10 minute intervals uh between each blog that ends up with a, a finished article i'm trying to decide what to do next as a um, uh, as a project that i could possibly blog again you see the colors work quite well on this aircraft i know it's i'm not usually a fan of one colored aircraft but uh, the colors work quite well I think um, I'm wondering whether to do a scratch built boat hull next I've got HMS Roberts which is one of my favorite boats you can see a plan view of it there perhaps that's a third of the size that's that would be uh, what was it, about 1 220th scale something like that the model I plan on building is about 1 72nd scale that's the size of the formers that we're talking about. Uh, these would need just copying and moving on. But they're 70 cents scale formers for HMS Roberts. I could do a kit built boat. I thought about doing the splinter camouflage Olympic from the 200 scale trumpeter kit. That could be good fun. Lots of drilling out of windows and portholes and such like. Um, also thought about doing uh, the Amerigo Vespucci from the 70 second scale. Um, uh, I think it's Man is it Mantua kit or Pan Art kit, I think it is. Uh, quite a, an undertaking, quite a big job, quite a big kit. But um, it would lend itself well to a blog. But instead of being 15 blogs with an hour and a half, each one, each 10 minute blog being an hour and a half's worth, you're looking at a couple of hundred hours work and the rest, 300 hours work, 400 hours work on the, uh, on the Amerigo Vespucci. So if each blog was an hour, you'd be looking at 400 parts. And if I just left it filming on YouTube, then you'd end up with quite a large amount of uh, material. So I've not decided what to do, quite what to do, how to do it. But hopefully um, this will have helped you people see, anybody see that's interested, how quick and simply you can make a, a reasonably good quality facsimile of a... A warbird that's not available in a kit um, in this case probably could have done with letting the dry varnish dry a bit longer to be honest before I filmed it but um, there it is I've cheated on the codes the codes are just ones I had available but you wouldn't know WT is correct 115 is correct for some aircraft 353 ugh, not so sure but it's pretty close it's pretty close I can see everything there so an interesting machine and I uh, hope if you got any tiny little bits out of it or just in some way enjoyed watching it okay I shall have a think and I'll get back in a couple of days and we'll start something else